Welcome to the channel my friends. On today's video we are going to be adjusting the valves on this Kawasaki. This is an FH series. It's actually the FH 680V. Many others will be similar. Now Kawasaki recommends adjusting the valves on these I believe every 300 hours. Now I don't know if it's ever been done on this. We're going to go ahead and complete that service. So we will need to remove the valve covers obviously. One on this side and one on, on the other side. There's two 10 millimeter bolts and that will remove the valve cover. Now before you remove the valve covers, you want to make sure you have a set of valve cover gaskets on hand. I have a set sitting here. Now they're fairly cheap. Sometimes you can reuse them. But in most cases, once you remove the valve cover, they do tend to tear. Uh, so again, it's a good idea to have them beforehand. We will also need to remove this cage up top of the motor. That way we can rotate the engine by hand to get our piston on top dead center. We'll also pull the spark plug so we can put something down the cylinder to make sure the piston's up top and both of the valves are closed before we go ahead and adjust them. So let's get these valve covers off. So here's our valve cover removed. Good idea to have a little pan at the bottom. I just got a rag. You will leak a little bit of an oil. Not a big deal. We'll go ahead and do the same thing on the other side. So we have both valve covers or rocker covers pulled off of this motor here. Now keep in mind a lot of time the gasket will tend to get stuck on the head or the valve cover. And once you peel it off it will tear like this. Um, you can easily just take a Take a razor blade and scrape off the rest of it. You want to make sure that area is nice and clean on the head and on the valve cover itself. Now one thing I did forget to do earlier was to remove the cage up top here so we can rotate the motor. So we'll get the spark plugs out and the cage off the top. So with the rocker covers or the valve covers removed, that exposes the rockers here. You can see how loose this one is. We also have the top guard and all that off. There is, I believe it's a 17 millimeter bolt right in the center. We'll put our socket on it to rotate the motor. Now what you want to do is you want to have the cylinder that you're working on, you want that to be on compression stroke so that way both of the valves are closed and there's no pressure on the valve. And you can usually test that by, as you can see, there's no pressure on them whatsoever. I have the spark plug pulled out, so if you just put your finger on the spark plug hole and rotate the engine with your ratchet up top, you can feel the compression, and then you can stick something in the cylinder. What I used was just a big pen here, right in the cylinder, and as you're rotating it, you obviously want it all the way up top, top dead center, TDC. Uh, so now I have the piston all the way up. You can kind of see how loose this one is. That's the intake. The bottom is the exhaust, I believe. If I take my feeler gauge here, this is actually what, 12 thousandths. And I can put that in between the valve stem and the rocker. And that's even loose. So the specs on this particular motor should be between 4 to 6 thousandths. We're actually going to adjust it to 5 thousand right in between. So to adjust, so we'll do this one, obviously one at a time. There's a 14 millimeter nut that will loosen up. And there's also a set screw, an Allen set screw in the center. I believe that's a four millimeter. So let's get both of those loose. So once we have the, the set screw in the center loose and this 14 millimeter nut loose, you can turn it by hand. Now I have it kind of where I want it. I got my five mil feeler gauge here. I'm going to put it right in between the valve stem and the rocker and it should have a little bit of a drag to it and that's kind of perfect where I want it. So again, to tighten it, you want to tighten this nut. Usually you can do it by hand or you can use a ratchet, wrench, what have you. And you can back it off if it's too much and, and again, you just want to have a slight drag to this. And I think I got it pretty good. I'm happy with that. So once you're happy with the clearance that you have, you want to go ahead and hold your nut and tighten up the set screw in the center. Now there is specs for these. I'm just going to go by the feel. 
I believe it's 50, 51 inch pounds or 60. I could be wrong, but I'll try to find that and put that in the description for you. Uh, so again, you want to go ahead and, and tighten that up and holding the nut still. And then we'll go ahead and repeat the same process on the other valve and the other cylinder. Obviously, we'll have to rotate that and get this cylinder on top dead center on compression stroke. So I was able to repeat the same process on the other side here on this head. Being fairly easy again, you loosen the nut up, loosen the set screw in the center, put your feeler gauge in, in between the valve stem and the rocker, and you want to get that drag. And you can tighten this nut by hand to where you feel the clearance is good. When you're happy, hold that nut and tighten the center set screw to the specifications. Again, I will put those in the description for you. So at this point, I had the spark plug back in, and we're ready to put the valve covers back on. In the beginning, I thought about painting the valve covers, but I actually ended up polishing them. These are the same ones that came off of it. Took about half an hour of polishing it on the grinder with the buffing wheel on the grinder. I think they came out pretty decent. So the gasket, you, again, you want to make sure your mating surfaces are clean on the valve cover and on the engine side. We'll put the valve cover gasket on the valve cover and put the bolts through here. That will hold it in place and bolt it right onto the motor. So obviously I was able to button everything up. We got our chrome valve covers on, top all buttoned up, runs nice and smooth. Obviously you want to check to make sure there's no oil leaks at the valve covers after they've been installed. No funny noises. Now to begin with, I did have a little bit of a clicking noise on this side of the valve cover. With adjusting the valve, that has taken care of that noise. Runs nice and smooth, no more noises. Now we have plenty more that we're going to be doing on this mower. I will be replacing the hydro filter on this mower along with adding some fluids. So stay tuned for that video. Hopefully this video has helped somebody out. I will put everything in the description for you. It's easy enough job to do on this. Again, Kawasaki recommends it every 300 hours. It's a good idea to take care of that. I thank you for watching.